Hey guys, we are gonna just show you a lane where we have a really hard time, but we play really safe and we have impact anyways. And I think this is really important to understand how to do and it, just to know that it feels really bad, but you should still do it. So this PA has a great start, first blood, then kills me. Not a great start to the lane at all. My Marana has arrow, we can't really like harass effectively. Um, what is important is this PA and Marcy are really low, so this this first like two minutes of the lane before they regen up a bit, we're actually able to be pretty aggressive and poke constantly. So they did get the first blood, but then they came to they were they started the lane with really low resources. So this lets us poke them a lot and give us a little bit of a lead. But let's jump to where that is not the case. Okay, so at this point in the lane, they've regened up their health with tangos and Marcy sidekick and whatnot. So we have to start playing more passively because, remember, this PA did have a good start. He got a very early orb of corrosion. Marcy is a very dangerous support to play against. And me and Smarana don't really help each other. Like, if they go on one of us, the other one doesn't really help that much. Um, and they have pretty high kill threat. Neither of us... Well, Marana can get away, but, like, if they go on me, basically, as the core, I'm screwed. So I have to play super safe this lane. And we're going to show you how we play really safe, and even how we play really safe, even though it feels really bad. So here we're playing very far back, just trying to nuke from a distance. P is getting a lot of denies. There's not too much I can do about that. Uh, somehow I have the most CS of this. I'm, I'm actually... I didn't know this. I'm actually shocked I have 16 CS this phase. Uh, which is the highest. I have no idea what's going on in the other lanes. It's very weird. I don't, because I'm not like CSing that great right now. Uh, but apparently I have the highest CS right now. So focusing on the CS first couple waves, good. Good to do. But notice here, the Marana left. I didn't see the Marcy for a while, so I was playing really safe. I see the Marcy now. This PA gets just a bunch of denies under the tower. And part of the reason this lane is so hard is because the Marana never unblocks this camp. Like he tried with one sentry and he didn't get it. Like the sentry must have been here and he just never got another sentry so we never had this camp at any point from here on out and it made this lane like pretty impossible um so here my marana has really low hp goes back to base i'm like okay the marcy's like not here i can sort of try and nuke but i can't really outlast it this pa um i don't think orb of corrosion works on the nice, but this guy i don't know it just feels like like i can nuke for creeps but that's it and this now this marcy comes back and my Marana, not here. Well, he's, okay, he died mid somehow. But he doesn't come back either. So we're going to show you this next couple minutes where we have to play giga safe, right? Remember, I'm a DP. This is a PA with an Orb of Corrosion. They have a Marcy. I have no way to save myself if they go on me. I Spirit Siphon and run, and it doesn't work because they have Dispose. I forgot what the ability is called. They have Dispose. PA continually slows me with daggers in the Orb. I, I just don't get away. Oh, this Marana does come back. Okay, he leaves very soon. He throws out like one or two more arrows that don't do anything, and then he leaves. So he runs mid. Notice, I okay, so he goes mid. So yeah, so this is what I'm doing. So I'm chilling back here, throwing out a random Q every once in a while, and the PA is free farming. And I see the Marcy. So I run, and then I see the Marcy mid. I'm like, okay, I can throw out some more Qs, I guess. Uh, there's really not too much I can do here. Now that the Marcy's left, and I know she's not here, I can do some defensive aggro to try and get these creeps away from PA, but I couldn't even do that before because I was afraid of this Marcy being able to just walk up and kill me. Okay, now Marana's back. He does arrow a catapult, which is good. Uh, we're rushing mana boots. We did get one clarity just because, like, the only way we're getting CS at this phase in the game is with our equip swarms, basically. I'm checking this camp again. Like, I really wish this camp had been unblocked. Maybe I should have bought a sentry, bought a sentry for myself. Because if I could pull this camp, it would fix the lane for me, and I would get a farm, like, a wave, or a wave and a half. Or even just half a wave. Uh, but, you know, I, I didn't buy my own sentry. I, I was kind of hoping theirs would run out eventually, and it, like, never runs out. So here are the PATP's mid and actually get some kills. And this is when you want to, you know, the person who's dominating you basically leaves. Notice the CS, I am like not very far ahead, or I'm, I'm far behind this PA, this PA is huge. Uh, but now that the PA is left, I can play a little bit more aggressively. And the important thing to note here, guys, is sometimes you just have to play really scared. You just have to not go for last hits or just use your nuke to last it from a distance and like not put yourself in any danger at all. 
because when you do that, you have some sort of game. Like, it's not a good game. Like, I'm not having a good game, but I'm not having a bad game. Like, I'm with the other cores, basically, you know. Um, I'm ahead of their mid-tiny, who was having a hard time, but, like, you know, we're, we're in the mix here. And it's because we didn't, like, chain feed this PA trying to get more than we were capable of getting. Like, I didn't die in this lane. I, I died at the rune, pre-rune, whatever. But I did not die in the lane against this PA Marcy. And it's because we just played really, really, really passive. And here, they, like, go for this weird attempt against our um, Exo. We brought a bunch of heroes. Um, they even kill the PA. And we get the tower. And this actually puts us at the top net worth of our team. And, like, believe me, when I was sitting in the trees, like, nuking a creep every two minutes, I was, like, not thinking I'm going to be the top net worth hero in ten minutes, right? I'm like, oh, man, this is bad, like. <laughs> but if we play safe, play within our limits, and then just play on our power spike when it finally comes, or, you know, just farm the wave when the guy finally leaves, if he had never left, like, you know, maybe buy the sentry and go for the pull, like, whatever you can eventually do to make that change to, like, back into, like, farming mode or secure more farm, you want to do that. But in the meantime, play within your limits. Do not, you know, don't go for stuff that you're not strong enough to get, right? Pay attention to what your support's doing. Your support's not there. Are you going to feed if you just walk up and, like, hit a creep? Maybe? Then don't do it. Um, you know? I'm really close, I'm getting really close to 7k again, and these are the types of lanes where, you know, I don't, I don't think, like, 5k, low 6k players, like, play this way, and, like, I think higher MMR players than me play this way, like, a lot, and they probably do it better than I do. Just wanted to show you guys this because I think a lot of low MMR players just won't do what I did. They won't just sit back and throw out a queue and be really scared to get no CS. And just do nothing. They won't do nothing for three minutes while their enemy carry free farms. And sometimes you just got to do it. Sometimes you just got to do it. Um, so this is letting you all know that that's okay to do. Um, good things can still happen. And we did go on to win this 80 minute game. <laughs> uh, so the rest of the game was wild. But I just wanted to show you this lane because I thought people needed to see this. So let me know if you learned anything or if you have any questions. I'll catch you in the next one. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, sub to the channel. And if you want to be coached by me, check the link in the video description. You can join my Discord there, and there's all the information there on how to sign up.